Hello fashion sewers and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew an expose zipper teeth insertion. I have an example here of the technique that I'm going to be demonstrating and as you can see this is what we're going to have this effect here of the zipper teeth being exposed. So it will be a case of making an insertion and then placing the zip into the insertion and then top stitching all the way around. The zipper can be of any description. In this case, it's metal. The one I showed you previously um, was plastic and it can be any width. So the first thing we need to do is get better control of the tape. So we just want to bring those a bit closer together. So I would just do a quick little tack here like so and then it's ready to be inserted. First thing we need to do is measure your zip so we need the length so we're starting at the slider head and then to the stopper and then we're going to need the width and the width is going to be taken from this end where the slider is and then that will give you the width. Working on the wrong side of your fabric, stabilise the area in which the zipper is going to be in and then put the markings, the length and the width. I've put a little mark in here and I'll explain what that is going to be doing later. That is to cut along the lines. So I'm going to fold that in half and just give a little snip. And I'm going to open it out and I'm going to insert my scissors into that little snip. Now the marking that I was telling you before is where you need to stop that black mark there and then we're going to go out to each one of these corners. We have to make sure it is actually absolutely precise. Don't go above that. So you end up with a little triangle like so and then do the same on the opposite side. Once the cuts have been made the next thing to do is just finger press those seams into place on the wrong side and also the triangle. Just give them a little bit of finger pressing just to mark, help mark those creases and then take it to your ironing board and your iron and press. Once you've pressed the edges, the next thing to do to keep this triangular piece in position and also the corners is just to place a little bit of interfacing on top just to reinforce that area. You place your zip onto a flat surface and you get your fabric and place it on top of your zip zipper, position that in place and then pin and baste if you wish all the way around. I've now pinned and base and now ready for the sewing machine. The best foot to use is going to be your zipper foot because that will enable you to get as close to the teeth or the edge of the fabric itself and also um, to make sure that you start about here, position here and then you're going to work your way all the way around the zipper and then come back and stop where you first started. my foot down, my needle down, I'm not going to back tack. I've pulled my slider down a little bit because I don't want the foot to get um, trapped or the sl slider to get trapped by the foot. And then the length and the width is your choice, it's whatever you want to achieve with your project. Right, I'm getting closer to the slider so I'm going to put my needle down raise my foot, flip the slider, raise my needle a little bit and then turn my work so that I can get my slider up. That's pivoting and then put my foot down and then continue sewing. And there you have the expose zipper teeth insertion. I'll just pull the slider down and back and there we have it. This technique is all about exposing the zipper teeth to create that interesting detail on any part of a sewing project. 
don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.